Oh, wow, look at that Virginia. What's up, Dragon Bros? It's me, Joku. I'm back with some shrimpums. I got six boxes of Fusion Worlds. This is half a case because the game is for ages six and up. So I thought it'd be good to get six boxes. No, my homies told me about a pre-release for Fusion Worlds and I wanted to check out Fusion Worlds. So I was like, yeah, I'll go check it out. So I went to this pre-release and um, it was pretty fun. Sorry, you guys just put all these boxes down. It was pretty good. I uh, I won. Apparently, I'm still all right at Dragon Ball. I got this, I got this shiny Goku card, and I won the pre-release with my shiny Goku. In the first round, I played a mirror match against my homie, who was also playing Goku, and I won the dice roll, which means I won the mirror match because going second is crazy in this game. And then game two, I played Frieza. I lost the dice roll, but I had a super sacky move where. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these decks, but Young Man Roche, Young Man Old Man Roche, he draws a card when you play him. I had a Double Strike Goku and a Gohan on board, and he had a King Cold and another blocker. I had a bunch of energy, so I was able to play two Weeses and minus his 20k blocker. And then I swung with Gohan to get it out of the way and comboed to get some cards out of his hand. And then I kept one open. I played Roche, and I top decked the... Uh, the, the 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 jet pistol what's the jet pistol card yeah I've top decked one of these and was able to pop his other blocker so that was kind of nasty um, and then I just swung for game with my big boy and was able to get it fortunately and then the last match I actually played my friend's brother my other friend Brian and he was playing Vegeta and I won the dice roll yeah I won the dice roll and red is bad for that but I saw my Goku's the, they were saying that you could play the, the fifth card that's in the deck. They were like, yeah, you can put it in the deck. I was like, well, I got a shiny super combo. So that means I'm going to have five super combos in my deck. And they were like, yeah, that's fine. I was like, I feel like that's not right. Um, but I didn't see more than two super combos in any game. So it felt all right. Anyway, I won this shiny Goku. This is the shiny winner Goku. So I'm back. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, I'm back. It's I'm back in it, baby. Um, I saved my participation to open. I think this is the... This is the promo pack. I saw my friend open a Broly. So I don't know what's in, there's a Goku. Goku's got 20,000. And this game is great because it's Dragon Ball with less words. Dragon Ball got very wordy. There were a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of words. This is the participation Goku. It's just not as shiny. This is the shinier the winner Goku. It doesn't say winner or anything like that, unfortunately. But these pre-release packs have some nice, big, thick pre-release stamps on them. Look at that, trunks, big, thick, pre-release right across so you know it's a pre-release card anyway that's the promotion prizing i did open a box in the store and from the box these were like the cool cards that we got it's this android 18 this cooler we got a secret rare not the alt art secret rare but apparently there's alternate art secret rares and there's a lot of texture in this game just the regular srs are textured so you get a bunch of really good looking cards in a box you can redeem all these things for your online play um, and yeah, so that's that was the box that we opened. Anyway, let's get into these shrimpums. Enough of all this. Now you've heard about my Dragon Ball experience. I'll probably start making some Dragon Ball cards. Let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see. Maybe some leaders, maybe some energy markers. They have energy markers in this game, so maybe we'll make some of those at Kaizoku Cards, since I do make pirate cards. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's shrimpum time. Let's get into this thing. So this is the busted box. It was busted, so I figured there must be something busted inside of it. I said, give me that box. I said, hey, man, give me that busted box. I, I, the whole time I was wearing my Goku's Kamehameha Wave hat. It's very important that you know you know, it's not, it's not a Kamehameha Blast. It's a Kamehameha Wave. Go, Goku's Wave. Turtle School style, man. All right. Bless him a pack. Of course, bless him. And then there's a couple things in these packs that we keep. So there's two shiny cards in the back. There's two alt arts in a in a box, I think. And there's a one in two chance that you'll get a secret rare. You got to keep this because you can redeem it online for your cool cards. I'm actually I'm gonna there we're gonna sort everything. So I'm just gonna keep everything together in these boxes. But if I pull any alt arts, I'll definitely pull them out to the side, and we'll keep these separate for sure. This is a recycled art. I believe that's from the Dragon Ball Super card game. But you know, one thing I gotta say is like, the art in Dragon Ball is just a lot more vanilla. If you're watching this at this point, you may still watch, you may watch me from the days where I opened Dragon Ball, but you may also watch me from One Piece now. And opening One Piece is, the art's so cool. There's so much awesome different kinds of art. 
Dragon Ball is just, everything just looks like the anime. It's just 100% just the anime in a game, which, oh, wow, look at that Virginia. That's a sick looking vagina, vagina, Vegeta. Wow, look at that. Look at him, he's pointing at himself. He's like, I'm number one, but he's not. He's actually not as strong as Goku really ever. Maybe a few short moments, but um, on play, add up to one card with a cost of three or more from your drop to your energy and rest mode. That's pretty good. Activate main, one per card, discard one card from your hand, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of two or less in KO. That's all right. Kind of neg to discard, but you know, removal is good. Um, on play, ramping is really good. He's got 10,000 combo power. So in this game, what they changed is cards don't have a cost to combo really ever. It's either they're gonna be 10,000 or 5,000. And it's cool that this card has a lot of good words on it and it's 10,000. I will stop playing this game when the characters get words up to their nipples. I'm saying that now, mark my words. Bandai, if you're listening, please don't put them that many words. Honestly, some of one, one Piece is getting a little wordy. Those ST13 leaders, are they got a lot of words on them. It's starting to make me a little bit tired. Hit, this is an SR, and you can see the SRs are like textured. They're pretty good looking. So, um, pretty cool stuff. But I, gotta, I think that's an alt art, because it's kind of like a full art. I think the SRs still have the border around them. Yeah, see that has an SR and it has a little star next to the SR, which I think that means alternate art. And one of the alt arts you can pull, there's a chance at pulling the alternate art secret. I'm pretty sure every other box has a secret rare in it. So um, when you look in the case, I guess half of them are gonna have secret rares. There's a Goku. I wonder if these come like have alternates, alternate arts, that would be cool. I guess I'm gonna make the alternate art, so I'm not worried about it. But yeah, there's a, and then there's like a super secret rare that's like a really shiny Goku. That's a nice looking Mai. It's an SR. Nice texture, looking great. Look, not so many words, which is really nice. The cards feel really nice, also. They're nice feeling cards. Um, yeah, so so we we it's nice that we don't have too many words. But yeah, then then there's a super shiny Goku. Wow, Beerus SR also. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, great looking cards. Vanilla, vanilla is the art because it's all the same, but the cards look great. Oh, cooler. Is this a, no, that's not an alt art. That's a, what is it? He's a blocker and he does a bunch of stuff. Cool. Very cool. I like that the SRs are textured. I think that's really cool. I hope they pick that up, adopt that in one piece also. I would love that. But again, Oh, 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 something really shiny back. Oh, yeah, Secret Rare, Goku, sick. This card, I think, is really strong. It's red, which I'm probably going to play red because I had a lot of fun with the red deck. But on play, you choose one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 15,000 power for the turn. And when this card KOs a battle card, you deal a damage to your opponent. So that's pretty strong. You, like, neg something, kill a card, and then just deal a damage to them. If they have, like, something weak out on the board and they only have one left, that's... This is just a kill you card. I like this art also. Ultron Sengoku is my guy, my fave, my fave guy. I'm pretty sure you get one secret per box in a box that has a secret. And then there should be two alt arts, I think. I don't know, I'm not sure. But that Vegeta alt art is sick, that's an SR. Um, yeah, and this doesn't have the star. That, so that means it's not the, it's not the alternate secret. There's our other alt art beerus he's red critical on play discard one card from your hand choose all of your opponent's battle cards with twenty five thousand power or less and ko them that's really strong just wipe out a board say see you later you just got beerus balled out of here very cool and i think that's going to be it in terms of like the hits for this box but i'm opening everything because I'm playing this game. I'm going to play some of it. Ooh, Goku, on play. Add up to one card from your life hand, then choose up to one of your power cards with 20,000 power less and KO it. Sweet. Yeah, so the really strong cards, the cards that have like stronger effects, they don't have combo power. So in this game, instead of counter power, it's combo power, and you can use it offensively or defensively. So in one piece, you kind of set up your attack, you attach your dawn, you kind of declare how much you're going to be attacking for, and then that's kind of it in this game. It's kind of like, whoa, I don't know what's in my hand, but my hand can make my attack stronger. Almost like Ace, if you know the Ace leader. Ace is like a Dragon Ball leader because you can use uh, event cards offensively to increase your attack power, which is essentially what you're doing in this game. 
So FYI, for your information, wow, it's a cool looking trunks. Yeah, I love these. I'm in love with these SRs. I love how the SRs are textured. And the bless them is going to be nothing too crazy, I don't think. Yep, just some rares. Nice. Hey, boys, I got a box for you. Two, to shrimp them. We got six boxes. This is exciting business. Half a case. Can we pull? There's, so there's a super secret alternate art. There's alt arts of the secret rares. And then there's a super alternate art, which is, I think, like a god rare kind of thing. Bless him. And I have never pulled a god rare in a Dragon Ball game. It just hasn't happened. It's not something that I've done. So, could be cool. Fusion World set one. Could it be? I'm also going to get a case. I think I'll do a case opening next weekend. But for now, I just got these six boxes. Exciting to shrimp them. Check out what's in here. See what the ratios are like. It, it seems pretty consistent. Both boxes that I opened so far, I opened one with my friends at the store and that one had a secret rare in it. That last one had a secret rare in it. So probably some of these, I imagine, are not going to. But you know, you roll the dice when you shrimp them. That's just how it goes. It's the story of, ooh, another one of those Gokus. I think that Goku's pretty strong. For a three cost card, it seems pretty good. Three cost seems like it has a little bit more accessible removal though. It seems like it's a little easier to remove three cost things based on, well, I was playing in the starter meta, but the starter meta is not significantly explaining much. That's a cool looking Vegeta. Nice big fist, a fisting Vegeta, die hard fist Vegeta. Vegeta, fist to the sky. Ooh, Ginyu. I think that's an SR also. Yeah, so you can tell if something is an alt art because it'll have a little star in the corner and a little bit of shinier border, more of a full art. This is also an SR. The SRs look great though. I gotta give it to them. Where they fall short in the diversity of the art, they come up with the coolness of the alt, of the texture, you know? When you, when you open like one piece, you're just getting like two textured cards in a box, maybe three sometimes, but it's mostly not. So if you like Dragon Ball and you like Dragon Balling, check it out. It's Dragon Ball Fusion Worlds. It, there's also an app. Um, you can download the app right now. I think it's just on the computer. I don't think the app is on phones yet. So computer application, but you can redeem this for a pack in the app, I think. Um, good looking 17 and 18, nice. But yeah, I like that they, you know, they simplified it. Dragon Ball was just getting a little too crazy. So I think they took the, some of the things that were fun and they still have masters for the people that want to um, stop other people from learning the game. They can all keep playing masters with each other. Whoa, hit, that is sick. Two costs, one attacking, add up to one card from the left of your hand, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards that gets minus 5,000 power for the turn. That's strong. That's good. That's a good card. It's a cool looking alt art. That's a hit. Get it? Because that's his name. Whoa! Leader! Leader alternate. That's sick. Wow. Sun Gohan Childhood. When attacking, draw a card. Once per turn, place one of your energy in the drop and give this guy 15k. That's kind of wild. Draws a card, and when you're at four or less, you draw and flip. Nice, very cool. So yeah, there are alternate leaders. I wonder what the drop rates on those boys are. Ooh, nothing there. So I guess, I'm assuming that takes the other alt spot, and I would guess in a box where you get an alt leader, you probably don't get a secret rare. That's gonna be my, that's gonna be my guess on the case ratios because it seems that way so far. So let's see let's see if that's accurate. Are those the only two hits in this box? And the answer is gonna be in the Blessum. The answer in the Blessum is yes, that's it. So you don't. I don't think you get secrets in boxes where you get alt leaders. All right, box number three, let's get in here. What is this gonna be? The Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World. Dragon Ball has come back and it's simplified and bless them. And what are we gonna get in this pack with alternate arts? And did you know the guy that did, announced all those Dragon Ball commercials? The one that probably has like absolutely no voice left now? I'm pretty sure he was the original Super Smash Brothers announcer which is kind of cool. I don't know if you all are Smash fans out there, but I love Super Smash Brothers. I used to actually compare Dragon Ball 
to like Super Smash Brothers, comparing it like a card game to other card games because in Dragon Ball, you know, you really want to go to like four life because you want to awaken. So getting to four is actually kind of useful. Whereas in One Piece, I mean, One Piece also kind of some of the earlier life, I take those life because I figure by the time uh, we're on turn three, turn four, I'm going to be playing characters and people are going to be swinging into my characters and I'm not going to get access to those life anymore. And those life cards might be cards that would help me. Whoa, look at that 18. On play, draw a card, then discard one from your hand. When attacking, if you have six or more energy, draw a card. Wow, that's pretty strong. So this is like a late game play that you just get a bunch of value out of. Also, Dragon Ball does not have summoning sickness. So, you know, in One Piece, you know, you can't attack the turn you play cards unless they have Rush. But in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball says, I don't care. Everything's attacking immediately. So you can play a card and swing with it right away. You can do these big combo counter things. So lots of, um, lots of cool value in this game that you can have so much fun with. But I'm excited to just build decks, play with my friends, see what the cards do. The cards look pretty. I do like them. They're, they kind of look, they're somewhere a little bit more in between where kind of the, oh, Beerus. Alternate Beerus leader, that's cool. So Beerus' skills, when attacking draw a card, once per turn, choose up one of your opponent's battle cards, it gets minus 10K for the turn. That's really good. He's crit on his front side and your turn. This card gets 5,000 pounds. What the heck? So he's just a 20k crit? Awaken when your life is four or less, draw one, flip one over. This leader's crazy. I'm playing Beerus for sure. Beerus is cracked. What the heck? He's just critical. 20k crit for no reason on his front side? That's insane. What? Why? Seems unreasonable. But I got the alternate art. So let's see. If there's no secret in this box, then our theory is right. How is the theory testing so far? It seems like, I mean, there's, there's still a handful of packs left. So the beer should take the other alternate spot. That's my guess. Can we can we figure out the box ratios in Sun Goku's Kamehameha Wave Hat opening pre-release boxes of Dragon Ball Fusion World? FB01 Fusion Booster, I'm guessing is what it's called. This is Fusion Booster 1. They had a Fusion World tournament at Nats that seemed very complicated to get into. I decided to join the One Piece side event, scrubbed out, lost one match, and then got on a plane and flew home. Because Katakuri is just crazy. Katakuri is wild. Um, I think it's going to be. Arguably the best deck or one of the best decks when set six comes out. So it looks like this is it. If you get an alt art leader, you do not get a secret rare. So I guess, and I don't know if in every box that you don't get a secret rare, you get an alt art leader. I don't know if that's for sure, but so far, it looks that way. All right, box number four. We're getting there. This is the, this is the halfway stripping point. Halfway stripping point. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super card game, Fusion Worlds. Is it even? Yeah, it is still Dragon Ball Super. Good, bless him. Because I did like Dragon Ball Super. You know, a lot of people talk trash about Dragon Ball Super, but I liked it. It's another my. I thought it was a great series. I thought the Tournament of Power was so cool. Um, Goku's Ultra Instinct Awakening was a very, very radical moment. Moment, moment. And... Uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun watching it, especially after not having Dragon Ball for so long. You know, I missed it so much. Grew up with this stuff, and then poof, it just came back kind of out of nowhere. I loved it. But I haven't kept up with the manga. I think I, I should pick up the manga. Maybe Fusion World will get me back into the manga. But I also don't see myself playing this game too competitively. I think I'll play it for fun. Oh, there's the Gohan secret rare. So that means we should get two more alternate arts and we will not get an alternate art leader in this box. I believe my, that is my thought. That is my rough idea about it. I don't know. I, I should look at what the alternate arts are because the, the alt arts are looking pretty good. I definitely, I would say I like the alt arts so far better than the alt arts I've been seeing in DBS Masters, I guess it's called. Um, which, 
I don't even know how to Zenkai Awaken. My, my Z stack. I don't have enough room on my playmat for my Z deck. Sorry. Sorry. My playmat's full, filled up with stuff. No room for that. No alt arts so far. There should be two. There's one. Whoa. 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 That's the... We pulled a bunch of this. This is cool. I like this a lot. This is the one that uh, KOs something with 20,000 power. This seems really good in Beerus. Just wipe out 30k cards. Seems really strong. I like that. But this is this dude's 50,000. That's wild. Secrets a secret already at 50,000. Wasn't wasn't Awaken Power 45,000? I think that was the like the strongest cards in the game were 45. I don't know if they were 50k cards. Seven is a lot to tap, but it also does a lot. That secret rare seems kind of crazy. I would give Gohan a try. I'll check him out. See what he does. All right, there should still be one more alt art in here, if our mathematics are correct and they continue to be consistent. Where are you? Is it in the blossom? Could it be? Did I blossom an alt art? Four packs left in this box. Not in that one. I think I'll, I'll, I'll ch I want to play that card. I want to see what that feels like. I'll, I'll probably build Gohan also, but definitely Beerus. Beerus for sure. I just read that leader. That leader is crazy. That leader is insane in the membrane. All right, this should be an alternate art in the Blossom. I'm hoping, unless we just don't know how, no, I guess not. So maybe it's not, or maybe I missed it. There's a chance that I just missed it. Box, that box just had one alt art and one secret, which, the other boxes that had secrets that we opened had two alt arts. I think, unless I'm just crazy, could be. Pull the like, Gohan secret. Here you go. Oh, All right. Let's see. Bless him. Can we get a, the Goku alt art? I don't even know what the regular alt art secret looks like. I just know that the, there's a super shiny one. I saw a picture of that super duper shiny one. That would be insane to pull that card. Maybe. It seems strong. I think that's a I think that's a card you definitely play in the deck. And I think Beerus, it seems like Beerus is better than if I see a Goku leader, well, let's take a look at it and read what he does. I would like to know what the Goku leader does. Um, and I don't know how many leaders there are in set one actually. Ooh, we pulled that already. That's that cooler alt art. Pulled that in the first in the first box we opened in the shop. So there should still be one other thing. It could be a secret rare now. It could be a secret rare and, or a leader. It's possible to get an alternate art leader. We know that now, but it seems like if you get an alternate art leader, then you don't get a secret. It seems to be the trend that we've seen. But what is it gonna be? Okay, wait, what does this Goku do? All of your U seven get 5k power. Uh, beer seems better. Beer seems like more value. I mean, if you don't have any cards out, then they don't have that buff. Oh my, wait, that was the same as the other box. So that, does that mean there's gonna be a Gohan secret in here? Cause the box that I opened at the shop was a cooler and a Mai. Where are you, Gohan? Goku, cool, not Gohan. But not the, not the alternate art. The regular art, which I happen to like a lot. I think the regular art is very cool. Very, very cool. All right, we have one box left. Just got to trip them through all these so we have all the cards that we need so we can deck build with our friends and play the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World for fun, with friends, for fun, to have a fun time. That's what it's all about. It's about having a good time, playing cards, slamming cards down on the play mat, turning them sideways. You turn a lot of cards sideways in this game. It's a real... It's a real turn the card sideways kind of game. But I don't even know where to go to play locals. I got no, no idea about that. But I think I will make a leader. I need to make a cooler looking Beerus leader. I think that, that Beerus is cool, but I could feel like I could make a cooler one. So I've got to find somebody that wants to make some Beerus art. And there shouldn't really be anything left in these because I think we pulled the hits already. Yep. Yep, we did. Secret rare and two alt arts. That's consistent. All right, last box. 
All right, let's get in here. It's box number six. Through the halfway through the case to find out what other kind of alt arts we can pull from this. I think there were two boxes, bless them, that had leaders so far. So that would be a pretty even split if this one was like an alt art and a leader box. Seems possible. Um, that would be 50-50. And then that would kind of support the theory that half the boxes in the case have secrets and half the boxes in the case have leaders. I wonder in this game if you can play more than one copy of a secret in your deck. Because I feel like that with how many secrets there are in a case that seems more possible in dragon ball super card game you could only have one copy of the secret in your deck which i wasn't that crazy about because a lot of games came down to like if you see that card you win if you don't then you don't so i don't think games should be like that i think being able to play four copies of a card is good and i think printing more is good so having the different rarities and making it more accessible i think that's cool that's a cool idea um i also don't know if in a um in a box with an alternate art secret, I feel like it would be that and one other thing would be your hit. So that would be similar to like a leader box. Like in One Piece, you have, oh, is this the, no, it's not an alt art, it's just an SR. The SRs look so good, I can't even tell sometimes. What a lucky feeling that is to have. That's another SR, textured. What is it gonna be? Nothing yet. Can we get that alt art secret rare? I don't know. I think I'm going to do a case opening also. Let me know if you guys want to see a video, if you have more fun with a live stream. I will definitely jump on for a live stream of that. I think that could be fun to live stream a case opening of uh, Fusion Worlds. See what's in a case. See what it's like. See what it feels like to open a case of this, this glorious looking game. All right, we should be coming up on an alt art soon. I've been just pulling, I've just been opening nothing really so far. Some nice looking SRs as they have in this game. But where the heck is it gonna be? I, I gotta say, if you guys are playing in the, uh, ooh, there's the Gohan. All right, so we got a Gohan, which means no leader, I think. And one, possibly two alt arts. It's seeming more like it's gonna be one at this point because we're almost at the Blessum. That's an SR. Three packs left of our first opening of Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World. I think it's just one alt art in this box, plus the secret rare. And it's in the Blessum. The Blessum, the alt art. Unless there's just no alt art in this box, which would be really unfortunate. But the alt art is another Goku. Nice. That's dope because I want to play that deck and I'm going to play that card. So great to have it. Thanks for checking it out. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be make sure to floss. You know, people in Dragon Ball, they don't have to floss because they only have one big tooth on the bottom and one big tooth on the top. There's no spaces between them. If you've looked at any of the pictures, it's just a giant tooth and there's just one of them. But you need to floss because there's spaces between your teeth and stuff can get packed in there, attract bacteria, the bacteria digest the food and then break down the junctional epithelium that connects the tissue of your gums to your tooth structure. Then the bacteria can get down to the bone and destroy the bone and then you lose support for your teeth and you lose your teeth. So just floss to protect your junctional epithelium, please. And thanks for checking out this shrimp and I'll be back with more next weekend. Oh yeah, I also got a haircut. I didn't even say anything about that, but I'm gonna have long hair on Wednesday's video, weird. Oh, also, I feel like we should do a review of our half case. Um, I'm just gonna throw these cards into stacks so we can see what it is that we got uh, really quick. And let's take a look. So in terms of the secrets, we got two Gohans, or three Gohans and one Goku. Secrets, two Gokus, sorry. Two Gokus and three Gohans for the secrets. And then for the regular alt arts, we got two of these Gokus. We got two coolers, but one was from a previous box. I think there's two Mai's in here also. Uh, two Mai's. And then we got one of these Vegeta's. I think the Vegeta's the best looking one so far, actually. The Beerus also looks really good, and the Hit looks really cool as well. This Android 18 looks all right. But I'm sure there's more, and I'm sure we'll see more next weekend. So come check it out.
Thanks a lot, and I'll see y'all then. Don't forget, it's a Kamehameha wave, not a blast. Alright, this is the first first pack of Dragon first pack of Dragon Ball Fusion Worlds. Let's see if Dragon Ball wants Joku back. <laughs> or if Dragon Ball says we want Joku. Stay with stay with the pirates. That's cooler. That's chilled. That's all I'm doing until the case of